Hello everyone, welcome to Cure Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial you'll learn how to create this big head uh, illusion and just with a texture X transformation and a scene render pass and it's pretty easy. So let's start. Okay, let's start. So we start by adding the assets first. You need the camera texture. So go to texture extraction, make sure you have the camera texture in your asset. And the next asset you need is from your computer, from Spark AR. Here, yeah, Spark AR assets. Go to 3D object and make sure you go to Head Occluder object. That set this one right here. And if you want to know where you find this, go to your SparkyRFacebook.com and go under learn you'll see the downloads and can make sure that you go to the face the face reference uh, assets where you can find all the assets you need for your filter the next step is make sure that you set the assets into your scene but you see we need to make sure that these this file or this 3d object is linked to your Face. So go to face tracker under this plus sign right here and add this one to your face tracker zero. We need to make sure that the, the 3D object is the same size as your head right now. I'm not quite sure if there is a difference, but go to one of these two objects. Go to default object, for example, and make sure that the scale is the right property. For my example, it's 0.0. .0 0 0.115 so at this one right here maybe a bit it looks a little bit small but leave it like that and the next step is first of all go to your default object and to your material so if you look go to flat and make sure it's white and a rectangle, full width and height, add a new material to your rectangle, also make sure it's flat, in this case it came white, and just make sure you know big head screen. And next step, go to your patch editor and we add to our patch editor a head occluder, our camera texture, and we want to link it later to our texture from our big head screen. <laughs> Scene render pass. Connect the scene render pass with the head occluder by scene object. Now see the object, so this one right here, see this in this screen. And make sure that the default color is white and opacity is by 0%. Make sure you connect the camera texture and the scene render pass with each other so go to multiply and add the rgba connect this one and this output as well now you need to connect this one to your texture so go to texture transformation link this one to your big head and now you see no difference but it you see the right size so there's no difference right now but you can also see that the 3d object is still come up if you lean uh, forward to your camera so go to your big head screen material and make sure that the user depth test is off 
but also you see this right line right here. And now we want to make this illusion of this blown up hat. So go to 2D transformation pack. We make sure that our screen is a little bit bigger or more scaled like our original screen. Connect this one. Go to scale by, for example, 0 0.5 to 0 0.5. It's like a cutout, um, just the head. So we want to make sure that we also have a full screen and don't see the 3D object uh, right here. So go to your canvas again and add a new rectangle to it. Make sure this rectangle is down below or behind our big head screen. And this is our, for example, oh, sorry. This is our BG screen, a background screen. We need, of course, make sure that we add the full screen <laughs> and new material. Also BG screen, flat and add the camera texture to it. And that should be it. Uh, I don't see. Make sure, of course, uh, I, I'm not quite sure, but make sure that the user depth is off. And then it should be it. Can, of course, work with the transformation pack, for example. Make sure that if it's a little bit too high, to make to add set it a little bit lower and that's it so thank you very much for watching i really appreciate your time and i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and of course if you like this tutorial please make sure to like it recommend this uh, tutorial for everyone who wants to know, to know this and again thank you very much see you next time bye bye